witness. The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister, show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop, stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. See, what is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. But you, look how the sucker of Shah eludes you. See how painfully present you remain. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us cure you. The sisters' blades are bloodied and dull. Only the most measured hand could make a clean incision. You remember Ashar and Maxim. Go forth and sow doubt, but do not compel it, for only the willing may know the lady's embrace. Their incisions are, as yet, still strict with imprecision. That much I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. Yes, submit I must into the lady's dark-fingered embrace. I see now. By example, I must edify and quell the light that blinds us. Come, sisters, soothe me. Forever.